Good morning, Lions. I love to speak in our Peacemaker Assemblies with our Peacemaker Pledge. Can you please stand? Now you know this, so go ahead and say it with me. I pledge to do my duty to protect myself and my fellow students and teachers. I promise to take pride in my work and promote school spirit throughout St. Joseph's School. I will strive to make good choices and encourage others to do so. I pledge that I have to be a teacher in all I say and do. Can you next to our All right, welcome Lions and families watching from work and home to St. Joseph Catholic School's Friendship Peacemaker Assembly. If you haven't figured it out by now, Peacemaker Assemblies are my favorite. These events are very special to our community as they allow teachers the chance to celebrate our students for more than just their academic ability. Throughout the month, as we highlight the virtue in our lessons and discussions, we see our Lions demonstrating hope and friendship and in just a few days, stewardship and we feel so proud to honor them with Peacemaker props and awards. And students now have a chance each month to study the virtue at home with our Peacemaker Family Project. As usual, Ms. Sellens will make us wait until the very end to find out who our faculty and staff Peacemaker is. Our future saints for this month in friendship have of course been Benedict and Scholastica. Friendship is a familiar word that we hear every day and we often talk about whom we call our friends. It feels nice to know we have friends, especially when they ask us to play a recess or tell us they like our toys. We see our lions treating their classmates like friends countless times a day here at our school. Sometimes some of our lions are a little sad, our JK lions are a little sad when they have to say bye to their mom or dad in the morning. And there is always a friend who helps cheer them up with a smile and kind words. Guess what then happens? That same student who was sad will help cheer up a different classmate another day. Our second graders are such good role models of friendship too. On Kennedy's first day at school last week, Sarah, who has only known Kennedy through a computer screen, didn't waste any time in giving her a virtual hug. You know that seeing Sarah give an air hug prompted lots of other lines in the room to do the same. Friendship, as we read about in the Bible, goes even deeper. God wants us to help show our friends and family how to make good choices to be better disciples. Every morning, you say one of my favorite lines of our Peacemaker Pledge. I will strive to make good choices and what? <laughs> Encourage others to do so. It's important to do what's right, but God also wants us to help others make responsible choices. We love our friends, so of course we want to make we want them to be happy and to show them how to help others. All right, let's start honoring some clients. We want to recognize students who spend time at home with their families completing this month's Peacemaker Family Project. Will the following lines please stand up? Copeland Meredith. Go ahead and stand up if I call your name. Cheney Meredith. Faith Bazzacco. Allison Delu. Will Greenlee, Nico Amato, Michelle Ambrosio, Colin Broussard, Mariana Ortega, Katiri Nixon, Lainey Beasley, Raquel Rice Weber, and Allison Wilkins. These students earn a service point for their families and will also receive a little something from me. Thank you, Lions, for making our Peacemaker Virtues an important part of your family time at home. Can we give them a round of applause? All right, All right and now let's see who our teachers have selected to honor for the virtue of friendship. But uh, we're going to begin with Miss Horning, who would like to recognize Copeland Meredith. Come on up. Good 
morning, everybody. Morning. Aesop once said, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. When I read this quote, I instantly thought of Coco. He walks into the classroom each day with a positive attitude and a smile on his face. He radiates friendliness through his interactions with friends and adults. His spirit is infectious. On several occasions, I witnessed Copeland asking his classmates to play with him. He notices when others are lonely or not feeling included. That is no small feat for a four-year-old. He truly cares about others and wants everyone to be happy. In fact, when his classmates are sick, he asks about them and says that he misses them. I am very proud of Copeland and can't wait to watch him blossom and grow throughout his journey in St. Joseph. Congratulations. Next, Mrs. Elkins will come up and honor Allison Lee. We are recognizing Allison for our kindergarten peacemaker. She has shown us what friendship really looks like under some hard conditions. Even from a distance, she manages to let her friendship show to her friends. Allison speaks with respect and concern for her classmates. She listens to their ideas and helps them expand them. When we're working in class, she quietly does her assignments and helps others if they need it. She gets excited for her classmates if they win the coveted Table of the Week banner for their winning work. If her table wins, she rejoices in a humble manner. Allison shows friendship at recess in quiet ways. She doesn't need to be reminded twice that her time on the screens is up. As a teacher, I appreciate the time I get to spend with her at lunchtime. She smiles and gets excited as we set up her lunch foods. This is a special time of day. I and count on for her friendship and cooperation. Allison is not a fair weather kind of friend. She sticks with you even when things get tough, like COVID restrictions. It is for these reasons and many more we are recommending Allison for our October Peacemaker. In first grade, Mrs. Angel King would like to honor Will Greenlee. I was listening to Father Mike Smith's homily several weeks ago, and as soon as Mass was over, I started writing this um, peacemaker. It was great. Um, he asked the question, what have I done with what I have been given? He spoke of how during our school years and through adulthood, we are trying to fulfill the resume goal. These goals earn us awards, scholarships, promotions. They are the things that we have done and accomplished. As good as these are, they are not as important as eulogy goals. They are important because they are at the core of who we are. How we live the virtues are the things that are said about us at our eulogy. As I was listening, it struck me that here at St. Joseph, we promote these goals every day. Not that we are thinking about the ending, but the many virtues we see are at the center of who we seek to become. As baptized Christians, we strive to be holy men and women of God and live 
as righteous people. St. Francis de Sale said, Who you are, be who you are, and be that well. Will is well on his way to learning what that means. Recently, when we had one of our friends who did not come to school for several days, he became concerned and asked about her almost daily. When he came into the room he, in the morning, he would mention he hoped that she would be in school today. Will also plays with everyone and is easy to partner up with our learning games. He cares and respects his friends and wants them to be safe. He understands that wearing his mask and staying in his areas are ways to protect them. I believe this is making the most of what has been given. Will is a friend to all and a wonderful addition to our class. Thank you for all you do to make our room a safe and fun place to learn. Congratulations. This is the thing I have to tell you that the other day, Will, when he got out of his car and gave me a countdown to your birthday. <laughs> he did it was to your birthday and he was crying to me. <laughs> All right, in second grade, Ms. Moyer would like to recognize Chase Jones as a piece of the Proverbs 24 says this, one who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Jace is a brother to everyone. He's a new student at SJS, but you would never know. One might think he's been with his classmates for years because of the love and respect he shows for them daily. There is no one best friend for James. He will play soccer with a group one day at recess and then play puppies or chalk with another group the next recess. He loves learning new things about each classmate and is always ready to show encouragement. Jace, you make us laugh and smile every day, and I'm blessed to be your teacher. Congratulations, Jace. All right, and in third grade, Miss Perry would like to recognize Blake Aaron. May I clothe myself in compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. May I be patient with my friends and I begin freely like you have given me. Colossians 3, 12 and 13. When I had to narrow down the peacemakers of this month, my focus was on the playground. Because recess time is the time for children to be themselves and they think no one is paying attention. The playground is a great place to see their personalities, their true selves shine through. Displays of friendship have shined through this month. Blake in particular has shown that he is a friend to all. His easygoing demeanor makes it really easy. He is known to let others pick the games first and he'll play with whatever is left over. If there's any drama, because you know, third grade has a little bit of drama sometimes. <laughs> Blake will lose himself with quickness and he'll return when all is set up. Because you know, at times, sometimes being a friend is just staying out of it, not putting it into sense. 
Eleanor Roosevelt once said, many people will walk in and out of your life, but only true friends will leave footprints in your heart. Blessed are the friends of the people who have been touched by your friendship with. Congratulations.
from the day, running copies for one another, making office deliveries for one another, covering each other's classes, or even Friday afternoons, almost everyone else has left for the weekend. They are online working with our virtual students or having yep, another meeting. I am delighted to share that our middle school team is our faculty, St. Benedict and Scholastica Friendship Peacemakers. At tomorrow's Peacemaker Assembly for our fourth through eighth graders, that is when they'll get to stand up here and get their certificates. So as we move into November, the virtue of stewardship will be our focus. In religion, you will learn about the charitable acts of St. Elizabeth of Hungary. At home, your, peace, your family peacemaker projects will include activities to help your family create ways to be good stewards of the faith. Here at St. Joseph, you've already displayed amazing ways to be good stewards through your charitable participation in our two dress down day fundraisers for the Hope Center and BCU Mass and Cancer Center, raising over a combined thousand dollars. While our first and second graders brought in donations for the Care Center right here in Petersburg to help out families. Lions, I can't wait to see what you accomplish over this next at this time, if you would please stand and we will close our peacemaker program. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Heavenly Father, you have blessed us far beyond what we deserve. You have given us your Son as a ransom for our sinful souls and sent the Holy Spirit to guide us back to you. Now, as we pause to meditate on who you are, and what you have given, we desire to show you our gratitude. We realize it is not the size of our gift, but the heart behind it that gives pleasure to you. Help us to discern how we may joyfully bless you, our church family, and our community with the gifts of our time, talents, and treasure. In giving, we do grow in our most precious gift, our faith. And may we find new ways to serve and bless others in the holy name of Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, everyone. You can take a seat. And congratulations again to all of our October speakers. Thank you.